All right, welcome to tonight's lesson. So we're still discussing the binomial theorem and uh, binomial expansions. So tonight we have very special uh, questions. Yeah, so they are all almost like the same. That's the reason why I'm saying they are simple and uh, easy to understand. All right, so let's quickly get into business. So these are my contacts that you can use to reach me. All right, so we have these questions, that, uh, about four of them, and then we'll also solve the other remaining questions on question nine. So the, the question says, write and simplify the indicated term um, in the expansions of the following. And the first question is asking us to find the seventh term of the expansion of that. So how do you find that? So this is a very simple question. The most important thing that you need to know is just the formula for the for the nth term of the binomial or any binomial expansion. So the formula for the nth term is uh, the formula for the nth term. I gave you. Uh, I think that was yesterday. And the nth term is given by n choose r, and then we have a n minus r, then b r. So in some books. Um, in some books, where there's R, they use K, and where there's A, they use X, and then where there's B, they use Y. So this is the formula we're going to use on almost all the questions that we're solving tonight. All right, so uh, we've been asked to find the seventh term of the expansion um, 2X minus Y to the power 12. So finding the seventh term, we need we need first to find the value of R at the seventh term. So let us try to look at this expansion. So um, we're trying to look at this expansion. I'm going to put uh, three here. Let me put three. So the first term is going to be N, which is three. So our N is three in this case. So we're going to have three. Choose what? Choose zero. That is the first term. It's going to have a to the power uh, three, then b to the power what? Uh, b to the power uh, zero. So three minus zero is three. That's the reason I've just written three there. The second term will be three, choose one. I want us to observe a certain pattern here. And then we have a to the power three minus one, the answer is two. And then we have B raised to the power R there, which is one. Then we also move on to the third term, which is three, choose two. And then we have A raised to the power three minus two, one, and then B raised to the power two. Then we move on to the last term, which is three, choose three. Then we have three minus three, we have zero. So A to the power zero, then we have B to the power three. So this is the expansion for this given uh, function there, for this given expression rather. So how, um, how are the values of R varying? Let's try to look at R. So on the first term, on the first term, R, the value of R is what? Is zero, this one. On the second term, the value of R is one, this one. And then on the third term, the value of R is two. On the fourth term, the value of R is three. On the fifth term, the value of R is what? So if we continue, if, the, if maybe we had this raised to the power at 12. So the fifth term will have the value of R, which is four. The sixth term, the value of R will be what? Five. So the seventh term is going to have the value of R as what? As six. So what this simply means is that the nth term has the value of R. So the value of R at, the, at any term is simply just equal to that. Okay, let me say, let me write it this way so that you understand what I'm going to write. So R at the nth term is going to be that, uh, that term minus one. So for instance, if we're trying to look for the value of R on the fourth term, the value of R on the fourth term, 
So we said R is equal to three at the fourth term. So let us try to use our formula. So the value of R at the fourth term, we're going to say R is equal to the fourth term there we have four. So I'm going to write four minus one. The answer is what? Three. So the value of R on the fourth term is simply just three. So this is the formula we're going to use to find the values of R on all the terms that we've been asked to find here. So let us quickly see how we're going to solve this. So I'm going to write two formulas here. The formula for the nth term, which is n choose r, a n minus r, then b r. Then the formula for the value of r, we are saying, I'm going to say the nth term uh, minus one. So this is what, these are the two formulas that we're going to concentrate on tonight. So to find the first term there, which is a, I mean the first question there, which is a, they're asking us to find the seventh term of the expansion uh, the expansion 2x minus y raised to the power 12. So to find the seventh term there, we first have to know the value of R. So we're saying R is going to be equal to seven minus one, which is giving us what? Six. So the value of R on the seventh term is simply just six. So we can now find the seventh term. So the seventh term, seventh term is therefore going to be equal to the value of n is what is 12 the value of r is six then we replace them in this formula we replace the value of a and b in the formula so the a, the value of a is this one the value of b is that one so the value of a is 2x raised to the power n minus r so this will be 12 minus 6 so n minus r is 12 minus 6 there then we have the value of b is negative one. So we put negative y there. Then we raise this to the power what? r, which is six. So we can do the simplifying here. So simplifying this expression will give us what? We're going to have six times five times four times three times two times one. Then on top there, we're going to have 12 times 11 times 10 times uh, nine times eight. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So we also have times seven there. So we can cancel out um, uh, the factors there. We know that four can go into eight, two times. Oh, before we begin to do that, let me also write other things. I mean, other things this side. So this side, we also have what? 2x to the power. Uh, so this is 2x to the power 12 minus 6, give us 6. Then we have negative, negative y raised to the power 6. Since 6 is an even number, meaning this negative will go. So I'm just going to have y to the power what? 6. So if the power is an odd number uh, and you have a negative inside there, it means that the solution that you're going to get should have a negative. Okay, so this is what we have. So let us simplify this part. We know that five can go into 10. How many times? Two. Six can go into 12. How many times? Two. Uh, four can go into eight. How many times? Two. Three can go into nine. How many times? Three. Two can cancel with that two. Then we multiply what you have remained with on top. So we have uh, two times 11 and then times two times three, then times seven. Then we have 924. So we have 924. Then two raised to the power six is um, 64. So we also have 64 x to the power six. And then we also have y to the power six. So the seventh term, we just have to multiply that. So 924 times 64 gives us 59,100. So we have 59,136. Then we have x to the power six, y to the power six. So this is the seventh term of that expansion. Yeah. So I don't know if you have any questions before we can move on to the next question, which is part B. Do you have any questions? Okay, so we proceed to part B. So 
part B is asking us to find the ninth term in the expansion of two plus X over two to the power 15. So how do you solve this one? So this one is also simple. First of all, we find the value of R. So R is equal to the nth term minus one and um, R will be nine minus one. And this is going to give us what? Uh, eight. So the value of R is eight. So now to find the nth term, the nth term is given by uh, n choose R, then a n minus R, then times B R. So we just replace the values in this formula. So the ninth term is equal to, the value of R there is what is 15. And then the value of, um, oh, sorry, the value of N is 15. The value of R is eight. And then the value of A is two raised to the power 15, which is N minus R there. So 15 minus eight, then we multiply it with B, which is X over two raised to the power R, which is eight there. So here it's just a matter of simplifying. So we say uh, eight times uh, seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. Then on top there, we also write 15 times 14 times 13 times uh, 12 times 11 times 10. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight. So we can see this eight and that eight will cancel. Then we also have this six in two, 12, it's two. Five in two, 15 is three. Then seven in two, 14, two. Then four in two, um, okay, we can say uh, two in two, four, two, two in two, ten, five, two, and that two cancels. Then three, one, three in two, nine, three, two, one, two cancels. So we now just uh, multiply what is remaining there. And then this side we have uh, 15 minus eight, 15 minus eight gives us what? Uh, seven. So we have two to the power seven. And then we also have uh, x to the power eight over two to the power eight. So two to the power seven and two to the power eight there will cancel. So we we'll just remain with two, two to the power one there as a denominator. So here we're just going to have, okay, let me just write something here. So we have three three times 13. So we have three times 13. Then we have this times 11. And then times five times three. Times five times three. We're getting 6,435. And then here, we said um, we can write this as x to the power eight over two, because uh, two to the power eight can also be written as, uh, it can also be written as two times two to the power seven. So that two to the power seven will cancel with that two to the power seven so that we just remain with two as a denominator there. So this is what we have as the solution. So. You can try to check if two can go into that. So if it can't go, you can just leave it like this, which can further be written as 6,435 over two X to the power eight. So this is the solution for the second question. Okay, so these questions are all simple and straightforward. We move on to, the, to part C. So C is also the same. They're asking us to find the sixth term of the expansion two plus three over X to the power 10. So the six is then we first find R. So R will be six minus one, and this is five. Then what we do is we write the formula. We know that the nth term 
is given by n choose r, and then we have a n minus r b r. So I'm a bit fast because the questions are all just the same. I'm just going through the same things. So I'll just uh, be a bit slow on D because it's a bit different. Okay, so for this one, we plug in the, the, the values. So we are finding the sixth term. So we say the sixth term is N is 10. The value of R is five. Then the value of A is two raised to the power 10 minus five will give us five. Then B is three over X. And uh, we're raising this to the power of five. So we simplify this expression, which I believe every, anyone can do. So 10 choose five can also, or 10 choose five, let me just do it quickly. So 10 choose five is 252. I'm sure you saw how I was solving the choose there, the simplest way to solve it. And then two to the power five gives us 32. And then we have three to the power five as well. We have 243. So we have 243 over X. Then it's just a matter of multiplying. So X to the power five there. So we multiply that times stage two, then times two, 252. And the answer is just going to be one, nine, five, nine, five, five, to everything over x to the power five. So these questions are all simple and you solve them in the same way. So let's quickly move on to part D. So let me check, okay, D is on this question. Yeah, I never wanted to solve it together with uh, these others uh, for one reason. I don't want you to confuse the concept. All right, so let's quickly move on to the next question where we're going to solve D and E. Also, F, G. Okay. So let's do that. 